find too much, but it was relatively in the school, even bigger than I thought. Uh, I I I could have done a lot of uh, a lot of uh, analysis, but yeah, I have tried to do just a short interactive with you. Here I'm going to show you just one. So if I interested, go to the paper and you can find that I am, I am more. So the first one was uh, this paper. This paper is the one I, I mentioned in the beginning that there was a paper that the guy diminished the number of the of of the of the genotype of the uh, of the coding of the solution. So you have the gene, which he, so the guy they have done in here have the solution. In this paper, the author has done the gene is smaller. Again, was as I was explained before. The price to pay, which is not clear in the paper, I believe, uh, in my opinion, the guy, the, the author, didn't have the, too much trouble because his problem was not too much complicated mathematically. So that's why I think he didn't have too much trouble. It was even, it, even a good idea. The advantage of the strategy is that uh, you can diminish the, the calculation because if you have a, a smaller a smaller genotype, you have a smaller space for evolution, so the evolution will occur faster. But I believe that by making the genotype smaller, you lose uh, information because mainly when you, uh, I believe you are going to, ex I'm going to explain that here have the uh, vector which is your solution, and which uh, each part of this of this of this gene. Is, uh, is the information about this control in time. So here you have time, time, time one, time one, time two. So what here is a, in each space have the control for specific time. Uh, if you make this smaller, you lose information. And what he did, the uh, this space that was not represented in the in the, in the genotype, when he transforms the phenotype, he just make a, a straight line uh, approximation. So you have the, here you have the here let's say these two points are present in the genotype, but they're not. But the middle points are not present. However, the middle points are present in the in the phenotype. So what the, what the author uh, the authors uh, do is to make a linear approximation for for those points that are not present in the in the in the, in the phenotype when it transforms the genotype. In the, in the genotype, when to solve the phenotype. Uh, it's interesting that uh, one thing that I, th I thought was curious about the paper that the guy, the, the author, they were able to get a smooth solution. I had big trouble when I was in my first simulation. It was very crazy. They gave a kind of solution that was jumping, like very jumping, jumping because it's normal if you stop thinking about because uh, we uh, uh, for uh, uh, for the evolutionary standpoint of view, you have to remember that the genetic algorithm, the evolutionary algorithm, they are applied in general for, for static optimization, which you are optimized a function in your optimization, your gene is a, is a, is a vector, is a number. In our case, now the gene is a function, it represents a function. So since you are, you are working in discrete space, there is no way for the genetic algorithm to know that uh, this difference exist so uh, for, so so they would treat each each section of the gene as a as an independent independent uh, independent uh, section but which, which is not true in a function uh, if you have for example uh, if you have uh, um, if you have uh, let's say a parabola and you change one point of the parabola, the whole parabola I are going to change because the parabola has a shape. You know, the parabola is not a arbitrary shape, it's a specific shape. For the genetic algorithm, the evolutionary algorithm in general, uh, this, solution, this information is not passed on. To, to it can be used, I, I, I did apply the second way because it, the second way came to me after I have finished the, my work and it came to me did like a, 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 let's say the kind of, that's a good idea, but I think this way. Uh, uh, one way, which is the one I, I applied in the, in, the, in the paper, 
is to have to have this kind of jumpy solution. Uh, sorry, I'll just come back here to explain why I, why I believe the 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 guy why he got a smooth solution. And the, I think the main reason is that if, uh, uh, first of all his he his his simulation was his system was linear, so it wasn't too much complicated. The second one, I believe that he was paused because he had used a kind of he, he, he had transformed his system into a, a initial and final point. So he just had to optimize the final point, which is called the um, I don't remember the name, but he, I think it's called the the, uh, the boss the boss simulation in which in which you have uh, just the, the, the you transform the integral into a final optimization problem. I, I believe I'm going to to uh, to talk about that in the in the next slides. If it's not, you are invited to see the paper. I believe I discussed that in the paper among the tales. If not, if it's not in the paper, you I advise you to see the reference or even to see a book about topic control or even get in touch with me. I'd be glad to explain that. But coming back to this question here. You have two ways to, to solve that. One is to make your, your optimization normally without any interference. Then in the end you make a curve fitting here. Then it's going to change which kind of curve fitting. I have applied two. The full here, the full here fitting, which is so you are just making your you are fitting your your data to cosinus and sinus. So it, uh, you are you are making your transform your data into a a free transform. Why I have done this idea because I, I observed from the date that it was a little periodic. So the free, the free transform was the best for me, I believe. The second possibility is to use polynomial approximation. As you're going to see, I have done uh, uh, two of them. You can see from the from the data. So, so it, uh, that uh, that's an uh, analogy I have done because the guy what uh, the, the the author he's he's uh, I'm talking to you about the paper that was uh, the paper that he, I was a bit surprised that he got a very smooth solution. So his optimization he he, he his that his cost cost function his function that he measured the, the goodness of the solution was based on the difference between the initial and the final value. So he, he was working with fermentation and he wants to optimize the, the, the weight of the final product and he, he had a maximum value, a maximum capacity of the, the bioreactor and he wants to use the bioreactor in the best way and to optimize the final product value. So he just makes the difference between the initial and the final value. So it's like pulling spring. You just have to stretch the spring. In my case, you have the like pulling spring with several points that can move, which is in the middle. So the spring uh, uh, like difficultly will be a linear relation. So it's a, one, one explanation I found why my result was different from this, this result of the second octo. So uh, So, uh, so both ends in the optimizing and the, uh, then also it makes uh, the auto. Uh, I have to mention that uh, the difference uh, this uh, the that when we make the difference here, they make this the direct approach. Uh, the guy optimizes the integral directly, but in fact he doesn't optimize the integral directly. He transforms the integral, which is the from the option control, into uh, a state variable. It, it's a it's a well-known technique for option control. If you go to the book option control, you can find it. You transform, you make the integral disappear. That's a well-known technique. So, and uh, the auto they test several situations. One of them is in which they they leave both the initial and the final condition as as free and make the best optimization. So you can do. Uh, they have not applied the Hamilton Hamiltonian because I said before they have applied a, a direct approach. Hamiltonian is known to an uh, indirect approach. Uh, I have applied what's called same direct. What I have called same direct method. 
because I have them to neon but I have not I have not used up to me tap to me I have just used up to me the Hamptonian to guide the the search of the the search of the of the of the evolutionary algorithm the it was the, but the challenge is how to handle the fact that all condition on the joint disappear so the that's a change so yeah, I, I, however uh, so that's why it, it had a solution but uh, it's a little bit more difficult and take a little bit more of the of, 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 comp, comp uh, computation so uh, there is already one result in the literature how to solve the problem and the, the problem is how to extend to the problem of this paper. I'm, I'm skipping this detail because it's not what I want here. So, again, this, I have we just talked about one paper. If you go to the book, go to the paper, to one paper, if you go to my paper, that I'm, the one that I have used for this video, which is which is up, was uploaded in the research gate, you are going to find more detail. So the, now the challenge is, I mean, uh, I have also trying to, to to identify a kind of literature deficiency, and one deficiency that I have uh, deficiency that I have found was that the uh, so I have found that the people are not, not applying so much. So the, uh, there are several type of optimal control techniques that are considered difficult, tough problems that can be you can can improve by applying your uh, evolution evolution strategy, evolution algorithms, in, which have not been applied. I, at least I could not find. For in the case of of, the, of the, this one, uh, discrete equation. Discrete equation is difficult even even just just solve it uh, as a dynamic system. So. Uh, uh, so, so I believe that it, it could be very beneficial to apply for uh, for some of these cases you had some some result which are not so uh, for them some of them they they apply just genetic algorithm genetic algorithm is, is well known to be very heavy and limited they are not like, the best option so for example in the case of, of stochastic different equation partial this equation using optimal control i could not find no no report and i believe that it could be interesting even to start some to some small research talking about equation is important for my research and the later i think it's important as a as a as a general concern <laughs>